In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at a few of the key features available in Waveform 3. Waveform is the latest incarnation of the increasingly popular DAW from Traction and is available in an impressively equipped free version. This month, we bring you our very own CM take on Waveform 3, combining DAW with Traction's collective workstation synth and associated Beta Max sound pack. Like many DAWs, Waveform 3 lets you construct your tracks in a central arranged panel. Even so, at first glance, Waveform's overall layout can seem a bit unusual, and this is in part down to the inline mixer on the right hand side. In fact, this is a core aspect of Waveform, which uses a very flexible and modular approach to processing. Try dragging the grey divide line between the arranged panel and the inline mixer to the left. You'll see the modular plugin components expand into chains of blocks, with the arrow like shape of the blocks indicating the signal flow direction. Many of these are labelled, and if you click on one, compressor for example, the corresponding processing window opens for editing. The system is highly flexible, allowing you to use just the modules you need. For example, you could even remove the volume module if you didn't need it. To add more plugins, you grab the grey plus plugin object and drag it to the required position on the inline mixer. And a context menu will open so you can choose a plugin. Waveform includes a powerful and easy to use integrated modulation system that allows you to apply LFO style control to any automatable plugin parameter. In the top right hand corner next to the grey and red clip plugin objects, you'll see the orange track modifier object. Drag the modifier object onto the level and pan module, then click on the LFO button. Now select pan from the list of parameters. Double click the red icon to open the modifier window. Check the shape is set to cyan and make it bipolar by selecting the plus minus option. We want the panning to be tempo synced but slow. So adjust the timing setting to two bars. We also want the panning to be less extreme. The way to achieve this is using the depth setting. First reduce the overall depth and also adjust the offset. Waveform 3 has some handy features, and it allows you like a number of DAWs to set up markers. These can then be used to quickly navigate around the track. Open the marker track from the view menu under the global tracks, or by using the eye panel in the top right. To create a marker, drag the clip object to the desired position and choose the bar and beats option. Just like clips, markers can be resized, named, copied, coloured, and so on. But the absolute best feature is they are numbered, and by typing the number and hitting enter, you can quickly jump to your desired section. Waveform includes clip specific processing. Here we're going to add a phaser to our shaker part just during the drop section. Right click on the clip and from the menu select plugin from the add clip effect section. Once loaded we launch the phaser with the cog icon on the clip and adjust settings to taste. 